What I have here is uh, four different types of fungus, mushroom. They can all be used as tinder. And pretty much any shelf mushroom that you find growing on the side of a tree has potential. It doesn't have to be tinder fungus. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see it very well in the video because these are some small pieces, but this right here is false tinder fungus or horse's hoof. It's what they make amadou from. And you can see this uh, outer edge that is underneath the gray exterior is what they make the amadou from and they process it but you don't have to process this this is a tinder fungus just like it is there you don't have to do some weird processing to use it as a tinder it will take a spark from a fire steel this one next to it is true tin true tinder fungus which is chaga inonotus obliquus there's no processing required for this one either. It'll take a spark. This next one is cramp balls. Um, I don't recall the Latin name, but it's just a little black ball that grows on rotten stumps. It'll take a spark from a fire steel. And this next one is Ganoderma lucidum or Tsugai. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's uh, commonly known as Ling Chi or Reishi, which is a medicinal mushroom that they make tea from in China or Japan. All four of these will take a spark from a tinder. I'm gonna go ahead and light them up and uh, let you see that. None of these were none of these were prepared in any way whatsoever. They were gathered by me uh, just on my way out and about. I'll just go ahead and light them up, and uh, then I'll show you them. Uh, it may take a few strikes to get them lit, and with the uh, false tinder fungus you don't need to light the outer portion which is the amadou the pores themselves will make an excellent tinder and you may just need to take your knife and you know just very gently rough up and expose the fibers so that they'll take a spark a little easier Let's just go ahead and try it with the camera running. I don't have a tripod or nothing set up, so. Well, it's already taken a spark. And like I said, this is false tinder fungus. It's not prepared in any way. I don't know if you can see it. But it is starting to grow an ember. And if I blow on that, it will increase in size dramatically. This small piece, which is about a half inch by one inch by two inches, will probably burn for a half hour to 45 minutes or more.
That'll burn unassisted. That's false tinder fungus. And obviously chaga generally takes a spark very easy. There it's going. Both the chaga and the false tinder fungus took a spark on the first try, but the chaga lit up quicker. And with the false tinder fungus, I actually had to hit it a couple more times just to ensure. that it would stay burning. But the chaga, it just goes. Chaga is true tinder fungus, horse's hoof is false tinder fungus. This is the Ganoderma species of mushroom. Pretty much any Ganoderma species of mushroom will work. You may want to just rough up the pores a little bit just to increase your odds or decrease the amount of strikes it takes for you to get it to hold a spark. Let me get over top of it. Let's see here. I may need to put a good good heavy spark on this one. As you can see, the Ganoderma mushroom, shelf mushroom, uh, took off pretty good. I had to put a little more spark on it. Uh, that was mostly just because I had a bad angle with the fire steel. But it will work. And here is the cramp ball. I believe in England or somewhere they call this King Edward or King James's something or other but I don't know that took a spark on the first try I hit it a couple more times just to make sure Oh, that one went out. I'm going to do the same with this. I'm just going to kind of, whoops, rough it up just a little bit. I ended up breaking it in half there. There we go. Cramp balls. Little black balls that grow on the on fallen trees and such. There's the Ganoderma. It's really burning away. See they're both burning. The chaga is just about gone, actually. That was a pretty fine piece of chaga. 
if you have a really dense piece of chaga it'll last longer And the false tinder fungus is still burning as well. <clears throat> so there's four different mushrooms that can be used as is as a tinder to take a spark from a fire steel. I'm sure you could get it to take a spark from a flint and steel as well. It would just take a little more effort. That small piece of Ganoderma is getting close to being consumed. The Chaga is pretty much gone. The cramp ball, which I lit last, is still going, but it's burning up kind of quick. But the false tender fungus is still burning away. That's a pretty good sized chunk. So there you go. Chaga, which is true tender fungus cramp balls, horse's hoof, or false tinder fungus, and Ganoderma lucidum, Reishi, or Ling Chi, as it's called. They all work. They all take a spark from a fire steel and you don't have to prepare them in any way whatsoever. Just cut them off the tree and use them. Later.